There you go, SSD. Uh, Doug wanted to do a little test, so we figured we'd give it a shot here and see how it works out. We discharged uh, two of the uh, worker batteries down to uh, 12 volts, let them sit over an hour. Took one of the other batteries, discharged it, and then charged it back up with a regular conventional charger. It's sitting at uh, 1297, just doesn't want to quit. And uh, got the other two batteries hooked up in 24 volt. That's what's going to be uh, picking up a charge, see if it'll work. See if we can use a, a smaller battery to charge a higher capacity battery bank. So let's hook it up and see what we got going here. You can already see the uh, voltage increasing and we just started it up. We're almost up to uh, one amp drill right off the bat. Output almost 200 milliamp rotors not even up to speed yet as you can tell the trains coming by you're almost in, over two amp draw now. batteries on the 24 volt side is already 28 and we're at almost 3 3 amps, pretty close to 3 amps I'll back it up just a touch Does anything here? Eleven forty six. I did get a uh, 500 ohm pot, I'll switch that out later on, but I just wanted to try this little test, see how it works. Show you guys the uh, results here. We'll crank this thing all the way up, see what it'll do. We'll back it off just a little bit, slightly over uh, 30 amps. And all my neons lit up. So. It's like a Christmas light, you see that? I was going over uh, about uh, 3.30, so as soon as they lit up, I went ahead and shut it down. You can still see some of the neons flickering a little bit. Just a slight fl flicker as it's uh, backing off. Even this one here on the trigger still has a slight flicker. So I had a bad connection someplace. That was pretty wild. Anyway, let me check it out and we'll see what we can post another video here. <laughs> 